Christianity tends to present itself as the moral code to follow. But do we really need an ancient religion to teach us what is right and wrong? believe that if you do not believe in God or believe in Jesus' teachings, then you cannot possess moral fiber. How do Christians justify the degree of hypocrisy when they preach to us about what is right and wrong when they are probably equally if not more guilty of the very sins they tell us to avoid? Just trying to wrap my head around the scope of how hypocritical the Christian religion is when it comes to morality is mind-boggling. For example, even in these troubled economic times when the United States is trillions of dollars in debt, not one church on U.S. soil pays one red cent in taxes. And yet at the same time, they teach us that we should pay our taxes. To put icing on that cake, the church, which makes no contribution to our government whatsoever, other than maybe duping some of our politicians into running on their ideals, often plays a deciding role in the affairs of the government. Decisions on reproductive rights for women springs instantly to mind. The Bible teaches us that being wealthy is not a sign of God's favor, and yet many churches become so wealthy that they can afford to build massive, luxurious structures. They herald these gargantuan churches as gifts from God, when in reality they should be thanking their own congregation for freely offering thousands of their hard-earned dollars. What about politicians who claim to be a Christian? George Bush, for example. Bush ran on the premise that God wanted him to be president, and yet he enjoys an enormous amount of wealth. So, does that mean that God doesn't favor him? Why would God tell someone that he doesn't favor they should be president of the United States? What about equal rights for women and other races? If God genuinely created all men equally, why wasn't the white man punished for enslaving the blacks? And why wasn't the white man punished for driving Native Americans from their homelands? If Christianity is intended to be the epitome of morals, then why were women intended to be treated as property and not people? Why weren't they given equal rights from the beginning? The Ten Commandments tell us that adultery is a sin, and yet cheating on one's spouse is glamorized in today's society. The Ten Commandments also tells us, Thou shalt not kill, and yet people are murdered every single day by individuals that conform to the Christian religion. Christianity has, of course, provided an out for this overwhelming contradiction. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. That's right. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how many sins you commit, as long as it's not denying the existence of God, you still can get off God's hook scot-free by just getting down on your knees, looking up at the clouds, and believing in Jesus. Man, who would have thought that getting into heaven would be so damned easy? That must be why Christians go to church on Sunday, so that they can wash their hands clean of all the dirty sins that they committed during the week. The truth is, one does not need Christianity to live a morally correct life. Understanding that stealing and killing is wrong doesn't require instruction from a mysterious God. No, you can be taught that on your own without the necessity of religion. So, what does Christianity have to offer in this respect that makes it so much better than being an atheist? Thoughts? Comments? Like and share the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I try my best to post a video every week, even though I know it's been like a month since I posted my last video. Sorry about that. If you didn't already know, I own and operate a graphic services business called Dynamic Graphics, and that's been keeping me really busy lately. Plus, I got married and I had to get the wife moved in. Busy, busy.